Hey guys, it's Malin V or Malin from Facebook or Malin Shop. And again, I'm so sorry I'm late with my Cast Off Crew video. And I know I did actually skip, I think, a couple of weeks. I think my last one that I checked was on the 7th. So I know that was like two, but that was the first week of December. So I'm sorry about that. And it's not like I've been that busy. I just have not, I guess, had the need or want <laughs> to make a video. So I do apologize for that. I do have a few completed objects uh, or FOs, so let me start with that. Um, I'll start actually with the finished amigurumis I made, uh, so you guys remember from this book. I made the final three or four. I actually don't remember if I showed one of these before, but I finally finished all the amigurumis from here. And, well, except for the for the face or the eyes or mouth or nose or whatever you have to add on after that. I didn't do that yet, but I do plan to finish that today and hopefully tomorrow I can do um, a review of the book. So that should be interesting. And hopefully I'll have it up by Monday for sure, but you know, I, I don't know in what method I want to do the video in. So I just have to kind of think about that first, I guess. Uh, but let's see. I'll start with a walrus, and again, no face, so no nose and eyes yet. It may look kind of odd. <laughs> it looks like this. It turned out pretty cute, and um, just so you guys know, for my, for all the amigurumi here in general, I think most of it is red heart, but a lot of it is, um, or all of it is actually just um, leftovers, you know, miscellaneous small skeins I had of stuff um, in general, so. Uh, it's not like, you know, I used Lionheart for all of them because I didn't. I think the only one that is actually made from Lionheart is the lion, or at least most of it, the, the yellowish color. That's Lion, lion Brand yarn, and I forgot exactly what it is, but anyway. This is the walrus. I don't know if I sewed that on kind of crooked or not, but anyway, this is how it looks. And again, no eyes or nose yet, so I'm sorry if it looks weird. It turned out a uh, pretty good size. I also finished, I forgot what this was, was, what this one is called. I think this one is just a penguin, some type of penguin. And again, I'll, uh, when I make the review of the book, I'll probably put up all the information up there and compare it to you know, the, the pictures they have there for the finished objects. This one is probably one of my favorites. It's really cute. And this was also pretty similar pattern. Um, I think this is the snow owl or white owl or something like that. And again, sorry about the no face thing. <laughs> I'll add them on later today. And the last one, the elephant, which is actually my least favorite, even on the finished objects here. I think it looks, this one, I think it looks kind of odd. It's not the best elephant in the world, but uh, this is how my turn out, and again, I did use scrap yarn, so. Not my favorite, but it does look pretty similar to the book's uh, final or finished object, which is the whole point, I guess, of how well the patterns are written. So yeah, I did finish those four. I did, let me just show you these two that I finished, I guess. Um, as you remember, I did show you in my last video, I was working on this scarf. And I am I'm done with it. It looks like this. I think it turned out really pretty. It's not a scarf, it's like... I forgot the name for it. Shawl, it's not even a shawlette. Oh, handkerchief or whatever. I do like it a lot. So I did finish that and I know I think last time did I mention that the last one I finished I was having problems with the end curling up and I think I finally managed to fix it. It looks like this. You guys remember this one right? And um, you knitters out there this was like the simplest solution but no one mentioned it and it's kind of sad that even if I'm a newbie, I should have known this answer too. Uh, for the ends that I had problems with, the curling up and everything, I just did 
um, you know, knit one row, just knit rows back and forth. And I forgot what that is called. Oh, garter stitch, there you go. Garter stitch finally fixed the, the rolling up. I did not, um, I did not block it yet. I did want to block it one more time, but even so without blocking, you can see that it's minimal. You know, any rolling up there is pretty minimal, so I'm really happy with that. This definitely worked a lot better than any of my crochet solutions, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I also can't wait to wear it. I wanna make one of these with the blue colorway, with this colorway. I think it will look really pretty. So maybe it'll be my next project. Um, I do have a couple of items that I was also working on and I actually don't know if they're works in progress because I don't know if I will be finishing these up. And it's actually one project I used a couple of yarns for, a couple of different yarns. Uh, if you guys watched my last haul, I did show you this yarn I got, the Happy Choices, and um, the skein or the yarn comes already knitted up into a scarf of whatever they call it into a panel that I guess they dyed it on uh, which looks like this and via the instructions or directions uh, they recommend um, knitting up directly from here so meanwhile you're undoing this you're you know knitting your piece and I was trying to make a I think it's also a scarf Actually, let me look it up. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and it's called the Three-Way Scarf. Uh, I'll probably post a link below, but uh, via the pattern, it's made with the Lion Brand Amazing Yarn. So I was also thinking of doing that with the blue colorway there, but um, I don't know if I will. But the, the point is, I was trying to make it with uh, this yarn, and since it's already knitted up, the yarn itself is pretty kinked up, if you can see. So it's not that great to work with, to be honest. And I did a few rows, and this is what it looks like, which is not ideal. If you stretch it out, you can kind of see what a pattern is supposed to be like. But if you do not even stretch it out, it just looks like that, like a, a mess, you know. It just looks like a mess. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to be turning this into a hank and then, um, I don't know, washing it and drying it and hopefully that'll make the yarn normal, you know, like how it's supposed to be rather than all kinked up like this. I didn't find that many videos on YouTube on how to fix yarn, but you know, yarn that's been like this. <laughs> But uh, from what I've seen, um, spe specifically one video I saw, I was a lady who was also showing how to um, make yarn go back to normal after you knit it up. And she did wash it, dried it, and after that, uh, it came out pretty normal, like, you know, straight from the skein kind of thing. Uh, that is a lot of work, honestly, because it's a lot of yarn and you know, after I turn into a skein, I have to rewind it up into a ball, that kind of thing. But I think I, it'll be worth it. So I'll probably end up doing this with that. So if anything, this is probably like a frog project or whatever you call it. And I did try to make, or I was making the same pattern, uh, the three-way scarf with another yarn here. Let me get that for you. Now via the pattern, um, it does not, the pattern doesn't include any of the, um, what did I call this? I forgot what I called it. I shivered it down. I forgot what I called that knitting one row, just knitting back and forth. Um, you know, the one I used for this to fix the curling. I'm sorry, I just forgot the word for that. But the pattern itself does not include any of that for the scarf, either at the end or on the sides. And uh, the pattern, um, the base, the basis of that pattern is um, having a right side and a wrong side, and the right side is knitted. And as you know, that definitely will curl on all sides. So that was gonna be a mess. Um, and learning from this, uh, on the one I was making, I did add, I think three or four rows of, then it says stockinette. 
I forgot about it, but I added like three or four rows in the beginning and I added two stitches on each side of um, of the skirt itself to kind of avoid any of the of those problems. And it somewhat worked, but it's still curling and I'm not happy with that. So here's how far I got. And I think it will look really pretty in general. You know, once it's blocked and everything, it will look pretty nice. But my problem is with the sides. You guys can see how it's going in like this. It's because it's rolling in. And that's pretty annoying to me. I want something that is not rolling in. So I'm also gonna froth this and I guess either add more stitches on the side so it stops doing that or just pick another pattern for it, uh, I'm really not sure. And the yarn, this one I'm using is the Sock Ease One Ball Makes a Pair from Lion Brands. And I think the colorway is Sour Ball. Yeah, Sour Ball. So I mean, the yarn itself is actually pretty nice. It says here that it's, it's finished with finished with aloe vera, which actually I noticed does make it a lot nicer to work with. It doesn't make your hands dry, that kind of thing. And you know, these are meant to be like uh, for socks. So maybe I'll try that because I haven't tried socks again. So that actually would be an option. So anyway, that's kind of sad, right? Two frog, uh, frog projects and a few that I finished at least though. Um, I have not been working on anything else. Um, it's kind of sad that I haven't worked on the Mario blanket since I don't even remember when. Um, at this time, I don't even know when I will be finished with it, but it's still, I guess, a work in progress. Um, to the winners of my 200 subby giveaway, again, congratulations to you both. I did mail out your packages. Um, I did contact you, you two um, with the tracking numbers as well. So hopefully you get those soon. And um, I guess a shout out to uh, all you guys. I hope you guys had a good uh, Christmas or holiday season or are having a good holiday season. I don't really celebrate Christmas, so it was, you know, just another day. Um, but otherwise, you know, if I don't see you until then, although I probably will, again, with the Lime Brand book review maybe, and I do plan to make a few of other videos. I still don't know what exactly, but I kind of wanted to make a review somewhat, not a review, a tutorial, so we will see. Uh, but yeah, I was saying uh, happy new year to you guys if I don't see you before then, and I hope all of you guys have, a, again, a great holiday season. Bye. Mm -hmm.